Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing a jellyfish. I'm using the iPad Pro with the Procreate app. If you're new to Procreate, I also have a video called 25 Procreate Tips and Tricks, which is good to watch first because as I draw, I'll be using these actions. I will link that video below. So I have my layer one here and we're just going to do the background. So I'm going to select a navy blue and we're just going to drop that in. And then I'm just going to select a lighter shade of that grab my airbrush and I'm going to put this as our light source. So we're under the ocean and the sun is up over here. So let's go into our adjustments, Gaussian blur, and then we're just going to blur that. All right, next we're going to create a new layer. We're going to grab our white and just a brush. And then now we're going to draw a circle, more of an oval. We're going to hold that just to make it a fluid circle. We're going to fill and then we're going to move it up over here. And then next we're going to go into the adjustments tool and go to liquify. Make sure that your push is on. And we're going to push our shape into a jellyfish. And of course, there's other ways to do this, but this is just another fun and unique way. All right, so once that is done, we are gonna take our eraser, make sure it's on an airbrush, and then we can start by erasing the inside of the jellyfish. And then also we can go into that layer and just at the end here, we're gonna decrease that opacity. Now I'm gonna duplicate this layer and I'm gonna hit alpha lock. So click on it and then click on alpha lock. And what this does, it um, enables you to color only within what you've already drawn. So I'm gonna select a fluorescent blue and I'm just gonna lightly, whoops and just go into an airbrush. And I'm just gonna lightly color that in with blue. And I'm not gonna do all of it, just certain sections. All right, let's take off the alpha lock. And then I'm just gonna continue to draw inside that circle just with a soft airbrush. and we're lightly, lightly doing this. And then just blend. So we're looking for like a translucent, transparent type of shape. All right, so let's merge these two layers down together. So we're left with just one layer. And then now for the other part of the jellyfish, we're gonna start a new layer just above the background. And I'm gonna select, I guess a fluorescent purple. And if you go to your brushes under elements, which I'm pretty sure comes with Procreate, um, go to clouds. And we're just gonna start coloring in here. You can mix up the colors as well. So let me just grab an orange, maybe a blue. You can also carry it underneath and then we can blend it after.
And then you can take your blending brush You can blur the edges as well. And then we can grab a white and then let's go back into our cloud. Just make sure that's selected. And then now we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna select just our regular brush and then click into the brush settings. Just make sure that your stabilization is at max because then you'll get a fluid line like this. If you are at none, then your lines will be a bit wonky. So make sure it's at max, hit done. And we kind of want to stroke just a bit thicker than that. And then we're gonna draw the lines of the jellyfish. You can go off the canvas if you want. And I also just wanna decrease the opacity of that. And we can also just put a slight blend on that. Now I kind of feel that this jellyfish is just a little bit too transparent. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select a white and just go back into my airbrush. I'm going to put a few more white highlights. And then just blend that all together. I'm just going to decrease that opacity as well. And then finally, the last thing you can do is go into your background layer, go back into brushes, go under elements, then you're gonna select water, and then you're gonna grab just a light blue like that. Make sure that your brush size is almost to the max. And you're just gonna put some water texture And there you go guys, there is your jellyfish. To get notified of more new videos where I teach you to draw, be sure to subscribe to Draw with Marina.